like, you know, I talk about money and happiness and there definitely is a relationship between money and happiness, but it's a pretty small one. Uh, so like, for example, uh, there's a study by Matthew Killingsworth, doubling your income consistently has about the effect, same effect on unhappiness. So going from 40,000 to $80,000 a year has the same effect of going from 4 million to $8 million a year has the same effect of going from, you know, like, so basically you're in this kind of treadmill where, uh, you need to keep on raising it by more and more to get a happiness boost. Uh, now, of course, like, at, I sound like a conspiracy theorist, and these ideas are almost so cliched, but they're just true. You know, advertisements don't want you to think that money doesn't matter. They want you to think that you need, uh, you know, fan, you know, you need the fanciest products, and uh, so they're kind of they're 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 kind of telling you, brainwashing you a little bit. Uh, on the things that that will make you happy that, you know, there are also been studies that uh, the purchases that make people happy, and it's very rarely stuff. It's usually vacations, travel uh, gives the biggest boost to happiness. When you kind of ask people, what are you doing and and how happy you are and and what what product are you using? Uh, The only products that really are giving people happiness are trips uh, and uh, other experiences uh, frequently with their romantic partner or their friends. It's like museums, Uh, tours stuff like that yeah so so things like that could legitimately give you a happiness boost they're, they're usually not even that expensive uh but when people are using a fancy new electronic uh or you know wearing an armani suit uh, they're not really getting a big happiness boost so i think that's an example why are we wrong well like armani probably spends more time advertising than like a that than uh the grand canyon does uh so uh, you know, like, yeah, if you turn on the TV, you're not really seeing many advertisements. Have you thought of taking a camping trip in the Grand Canyon with your friends? <laughs> uh, because Grand Canyon's a nonprofit. They're not even making money. Uh, so, uh, it's, it's, it's there, there. Yeah. So I think we're getting kind of, uh, the wrong messages about, uh, the path to happiness. What is it? There was that famous study that said above Seventy thousand dollars a year, money has no impact on happiness. It seems like what you're saying here is that that's bullshit. It's not true, but it's 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 true in that the effects level off a lot. So it's not literally true that you reach seventy five thousand dollars, then money doesn't improve things at all. Uh, but going from uh, you know forty thousand to eighty thousand is the same as going from eighty thousand to one hundred sixty thousand. So it's it it does it it is leveling off. It's just it doesn't level off to zero. There is also some evidence that like once you reach about eight million dollars, you also get a boost. Uh, and I think the, <laughs> what's that? The, I think the reason for that is that then you're reaching a point, and uh, I've started since I moved to New York. I've met a lot of people uh, in that camp of eight million dollars and well beyond. Uh, and I think they're at a level where they literally have everything taken care of them for them. And you see the happiness activity chart uh, that, that I include in Don't Trust Your Gut. And like, there are all these miserable activities, you know, standing on lines, uh, working. Housework. <laughs> uh, housework. Like they really don't make people happy. And when you reach $8 billion uh, net worth or beyond, you don't have to spend much of your life doing those things. That's the point uh, at which the driver or the assistant can stand in line for you when the yeah. chef can cook you breakfast, when the housekeeper can clean up, blah, blah. Yeah. And then you really can spend most of your life just by a beach having sex. Uh, so. <laughs> in, eight, in 80 degree weather. What's happening, people? If you enjoyed that, then press here for the full unedited episode. And don't forget to subscribe. Peace.